Hechos 20, 35 dice, siempre les he enseñado que así se debe trabajar y ayudar a los que están en necesidad, recordando aquellas palabras del Señor Jesús, hay más dicha en dar que en recibir. In all things that I have shown you that by working hard, in this way we must also help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Amen. Amen. Pueden sentarse amados. You may all have a seat now. Quiero regalarles una frase. I would like to um, uh, una say frase, a, a una phrase frase, or a quote. Una frase célebre. A very famous quote. Voy a comenzar a hacer un calendario San Edilberto. I'm going to start. I'm going to, start, I'm going to create my own calendar. It's going to be called um, Saint Edilberto. Y la, la primera frase que va a tener es, el Evangelio no solo es lo que enseñamos teológicamente, sino lo que modelamos espiritualmente. So the gospel, of, uh, the gospel is not just what we teach the theology, the the theologically, but what we model spiritually. Ah, ¿qué tal? How do, you, how do you like that? Según San Edilberto. This is according to Saint Edilberto. Así que vamos a, a enseñar el Evangelio. So we're going to be teaching the gospel. Más que con nuestras palabras. Beyond our words. Actually, instead of our, using our words. Nuestras acciones. But our actions. Eso funciona más. That has a greater effect. Amén, amados. Estamos hablando de 12 consejos que nos harán vivir un año diferente. We're talking about 12 pieces of advice that are going to have a, help us live a different type of year. No dijimos que un año exitoso. We haven't said anything about a successful year. No dijimos que nos va a ser millonarios. We haven't said anything that is there um, this advice pieces of advice are going to ma make us millionaires. Solo queremos que nuestro año sea diferente. We just want our year to be different. Positivamente, por supuesto. Of course, and on the bright side, I mean positively. Y poniendo en práctica estos principios. And put it into practice these principles. Lo vamos a lograr. And I mean, by putting into practice these principles, we can accomplish this. El primero fue. The first one was. Debemos establecer una relación personal con Dios. We must establish a personal relationship with God. O si ya la tienes, pues fortalecerla. ¿verdad? And then if you already have one, then we have to make it strong. Segundo. Uh, second of all. Dar. To give. De sin esperar nada a cambio. Give without ex the expectancy to get something in return. El apóstol Pablo dijo que Jesús había dicho. Uh, the apostle Paul said that Jesus himself said. Que es más que hay más dicha, que es más feliz el que da que el que recibe. That it is more blessed and then and the person who actually gives is more happy than the one who receives. ¿Sí o no? Is that true? Y si no, pregúntale a los boxeadores para que vean. And then, if you're not sure about this, you can still, still ask a boxer. Que más feliz es el que da que el que recibe. That the person who gives is, is happier than the person that receives. Pero estamos hablando de dar cosas. But we're talking about giving things. ¿Por qué es mejor dar que recibir? Why is it greater to give than to receive? ¿Por qué iglesia? Why church? Porque el que da es porque tiene para dar. Because the person that gives already has has enough to be able to give. ¿Quién es más feliz? El mendigo que está en la calle pidiendo o tú que le das una limosna. Who is more blessed, the poor beggar that is on the street, or you that are given to him? El deseo de Dios. God's desire. No es solo que aprendamos a dar. It's not just for us to be able to give. Pero que lo demos con alegría, iglesia. But that we will give out with a cheerful heart. Así que. A mí mismo me molesta cuando yo veo gente joven en la calle pidiendo. So it really bothers me when I go out on the street and I see young people begging for alms. Déjame corregir eso. Me molestaba. I'm actually going to correct myself and just say that it used to bother me. Yo los criticaba. I used to criticize them. Ah, ese tipo tan joven pide dinero para consumir droga. Okay, and then this young person, this young man is just begging for money just to drug himself. ¿Te gustaría estar en sus zapatos? Would you like to be in his shoes? ¿Verdad que no? You wouldn't, right? 
So de hoy en adelante. So from now on. No los vamos a criticar. We're not going to judge them or criticize them. ¿Sabes por qué iglesia? Do you know why church? Porque llegar a esa condición. Because reaching that position in their lives. Es triste. It's very unfortunate. Pedir prestado es vergonzoso. Having to ask or borrow money is very embarrassing. Sí o no, has, has tratado de pedir prestado? Have you ever tried to borrow money from somebody? Uno va así como con You go there very humbly and very ashamed. Con vergüenza, ¿verdad? Yeah, we, yeah, you're ashamed to actually do that. Ahora imagínate salir a la calle a pedir para comer. And now imagine having to go outside and beg for a living just to be able to feed yourself. Cuando una persona llega a ese nivel. When somebody reaches that point in their lives. Es porque ha perdido su autoestima. It is because they have lost their self-esteem. Y por eso no debemos juzgar a las personas. And that's why we shouldn't judge people. Cuando usted quiera darle una limosna a alguien, una ayuda a alguien. When you want to give alms to somebody or just to give them out some help. No lo critiques. Don't criticize them. Y si no, mejor no le des nada. If not, you're better off not giving them anything. Pero cuando usted encuentre a alguien en la calle. But whenever you find somebody on the street. Y usted pueda darle un dólar. And then you can give them a dollar. Bendígalo. Then bless that person. Amén, amados. Amén, beloved. Hay una canción que sacó... ¿Cómo se llama el, el, el rapero de mi hijo? <laughs> what, is the song, what is the song that um, my son, el sema, the rapper? El semáforo. ¿Cómo se llama? Alex Zurdo. Alex Zurdo se llama un cantante. Alex Zurdo is the name of a singer. Que canta rap. I mean, a rap singer, yeah, a rapper. Pero los mensajes son muy buenos. But his messages are very good. Y uno de esos se llama el semáforo. And one of those, of, one of his songs is actually called the, the traffic light. Y él enseña sobre eso, iglesia. And he teaches about this, church. Hay personas allá afuera. There are people outside. Que están en las calles. That are on the streets. Y posiblemente estaban tan estables como nosotros. And they're possibly, they were as stable as, as we were once. Pero un día algo pasó. But one day something happened to them. Y terminaron allá afuera. And that's where they wound up. Yo no quiero estar en sus zapatos. I don't want to be in their shoes. Así que yo nunca más volveré a criticar a nadie que esté pidiendo en la calle. So never again I will not judge somebody who's begging for money on the street. Si yo puedo. If I can. Le doy. If I'm able. Then I will give them. Y si no puedo, pues no le doy. And then if I'm not able to give them anything si that I just lo, want. Se lo bebe o se lo fuma, ese es problema de And then if he drinks it or smokes it, then that's his problem or her problem. Amén, iglesia. Amén, church. Son principios que a veces se nos olvida como seres humanos. These are principles that sometimes we forget as, as human beings. We just tend to forget. Y que en este año Dios quiere que los pongamos en práctica. And then this year, God wants us to put these principles into practice. De. Give. Sin esperar nada de regreso. Not expecting something, anything, or anything in return. Esa teología de darle a Dios para que me haga rico es equivocada. This theory to give God so He will give me back is totally, is completely wrong. Porque ya está en la Biblia. Because it's already in the Bible. Es una promesa de Dios. It is God's promise. Es una promesa a la fidelidad del que da. It is a, a promise to the fidelity of he, of he or she that gives. Si tú eres un dador alegre. If you are a cheerful giver. Está escrito en la Biblia. It is written in the Bible. Que tú vas a ser bendecido. That you will be blessed. Eso está establecido en el mundo espiritual. It has already been established in the spiritual world. So no tenemos que chantajear a Dios. So we don't have to blackmail God. Le, le voy a, ya sabe, le voy a dar mil dólares a Dios, pero... Me salva la mocosa ahí porque. So you're gonna gotta go to God and say, I'm gonna give you thousand dollars, but please save her. ¿Verdad que no funciona así? Right? This is not the way that it actually works. Y yo he oído esos testimonios en la radio y en and la I've televisión. And I've heard of these testimonies in the in the in the radio and TV. Yo di una ofrenda. I gave God an offering. Y Dios me hizo el milagro. And God performed a miracle. Y así no funciona. And that's not really the way it Por lo menos works. no es el evangelio de Cristo. At least it's not the gospel of Christ. Huele más a fetichismo que a otra it, cosa. It kind of sounds more like um, yeah, just crazy beliefs. Segunda de Corintios 9, 7 y 8 dice. Second Corinthians 9 verses 7 through 8. 
Cada uno dé como propuso en su corazón, no con tristeza ni por necesidad, porque Dios ama al dador alegre. Each one, of, uh, each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Ocho dice, y poderoso es Dios para hacer que abunde en vosotros toda gracia, a fin de que, teniendo siempre en todas las cosas, todo lo suficiente, abundéis para toda buena obra. And verse 8 it says, And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. El deseo de Dios God's desire es que demos con alegría. is for us to give cheerfully. Y es, y está aquí. And ya it está is written here, it's already in the Word of God. Que Él es poderoso para multiplicar nuestros recursos. That He is more than almighty and powerful to, um, to multiply our resources. Y dice que abundemos en toda gracia. And it says that we should abound in all grace. Para que podamos dar con gracia. So that we are able to give with grace. Usted sabe que todas las personas no tienen gracia para dar. Do you know that not all people have grace to be givers? Hay personas que dan con alegría. There are people uh, that, are actually, that are actually cheerful givers. Que, wow, provoca recibir un regalo de esas that, personas. That it really uh, is very pleasing and very happy just to be able to receive a gift from them. Sí o no, iglesia? ¿Has experimentado eso? Have you ever experienced that? Hay personas que te dan algo y wow, tú dices, qué There are lindo. people that give you something and you just go like, how nice. Aunque sea algo simple. Even if it is something so tiny or a yeah, small gift. Pero fue con amor. But you know that they did that out of love. Con la gracia de Dios. With God's grace. Pero hay quienes dan como que le están sacando un riñón. But there are people actually giving like you're taking a kidney away from them. Sí o no? Is that true? Entonces tenemos que este año. So we want this year. O mejor dicho, de hoy en adelante. Or as a matter of fact, from now on. Ser dadores alegres. To be cheerful givers que lo que nosotros demos that whatever we give sea con amor that it will be out of love que pueda impactar la persona que that nosotros it can le damos impact a person that we're given to amén amados amén beloved estamos claros hasta ahí so are we clear on this Salmo 41, 1 y 2 Psalms 41 verses 1 through 2 Mira estas cosas que nosotros a veces como que olvidamos iglesia let's see the things that we tend to forget Mira lo que dice el Salmo, dice, bienaventurado el que piensa en el pobre, en el día malo lo librará Jehová. Blessed is the one who considers the poor in the day of trouble, the Lord delivers him. Y que dice el 2, dice, Jehová lo guardará y le dará vida y será bienaventurado en la tierra y no lo entregarás a la voluntad de sus enemigos. The Lord protects him and keeps him alive and he is called blessed in the land. You do not give him up to the will of his enemies. Wow, eso es importante. Iglesia. Wow, that is really important, church. Yo estaba en Venezuela cuando llegó la ola de la prosperidad. I was in Venezuela when the, the, the wave of prosperity arrived. Y la gente empezaron a sembrar. And people started planting. Antes de ese tiempo no se hacía eso. Bef before that time, nobody ever did that. Y éramos cristianos de todas maneras. And we were Christians anyway. Y han habido grandes avivamientos en la historia. And then we have seen many great revivals throughout history. Pero vino esa ola. But this wave um, came in. Y la gente comenzó y que a sembrar. And people started to supposedly start planting. Recu recuerdo que alguien me dio un reloj muy bonito. I remember that somebody gave me a very nice watch. Un reloj dorado, muy hermoso. It was a golden watch. It was so beautiful. Y me dijo, hermano, yo voy a sembrar este reloj en usted. And he told me, uh, brother, I'm going to plant this watch um, in you. Y yo le dije, okay, muchas gracias. And I said, okay, thank you. Yo fui a visitar un pastor por allá en, en, un, en un pueblito pequeño. I, I went to pay a visit to a pastor in a very small town. Y él tenía un relojito plástico, esos baratitos. And he had one of these very cheap watches that were made pastor, out of plastic. Y yo le dije, pastor, le cambio el reloj. And I told him, uh, pastor, I'm going to trade watches with you. Y yo me vine con mi relojito feito para la and, and I came with my uh, very ugly watch. Y cuando, yeah. cuando el hermano me vio, se puso un poco triste. Y cuando el brother saw me, he was very sad. The brother who gave Porque me the watch. Porque yo había dado el reloj. Because I had given the watch away. 
Pero yo pienso, Iglesia del Señor. But I think, uh, church. Que cuando nosotros damos las cosas. That when we give things to people. Los damos de aquí del corazón porque nos nace. We we give that um, out of our hearts because it is. To, it just comes from there. No porque vengan movimientos sensacionalistas que te digan que tienes que hacerlo para que te vaya bien. Not because there are people telling you in this certain uh, movement that you have to do it so you will go well with you. Es porque está escrito aquí. But instead, it is because it is written here in His Word. Que Dios bendice. That God blesses. Aquel que piensa en el pobre. Those who think of the poor. Aquel que da con alegría. The person who gives um, cheerfully. Entonces en este movimiento que se levantó en ese tiempo. So in this movement that arose from that in that time. Ellos decían que no se le debía dar al pobre. Oh. My, uh, they were even saying that you were not supposed to give to the poor Porque el que le daba al pobre le prestaba a Dios. because the person who was given to the poor they were lending to God la Biblia dice eso. does the Bible say that? Pero la Biblia lo dice en el sentido positivo, por but, supuesto. But the Bible says that in the, in the positive um, sense, yeah. Pero la, lo vamos a leer ahorita. Pero, or as a matter of fact, we're going to be reading uh, that. Pero right ellos now, decían, but. usted no tiene que darle a los pobres. But they were saying, you cannot give to the poor. Porque el que le da al pobre le presta a Dios. Because the person who's uh, given to the poor, he's lending to God. Usted tiene que sembrar en buen terreno. You have to plant your seed in, in, in a good land. Buen terreno significa darle al que tiene bastante. And a good land means to give to those who already have enough. Porque yo espero que después de allá para acá venga algo para mí. Because then I'm expecting uh, something to come from this side to that side. Sí o no, iglesia. Claro, así es. Si yo le doy una buena ofrenda a un pastor. If I give a good offering to a pastor. Que lo traigo de otro país. That I, I brought him from another country. Y yo lo bendigo aquí. And I bless him here. Yo espero cuando vaya allá, él también me dé una buena ofrenda a mí. Then I, I pray that when I go there, he will also give me a, a good um, offering. ¿Sí o no? Is that the si way it works? Si lo estoy haciendo con esa motivación. So if that is my motivation or my intentions. Pero esa no debe ser nuestra motivación. But that, that shouldn't be our motivation to do this. La... La motivación de nuestro corazón debe ser agradar a Dios. Our true motives should be to be uh, able to please God. Proverbios 19, 17 está el famoso versículo. Proverbs uh, 19, verse 17 is very famous. Dice, a Jehová presta el que da al pobre y el bien que ha hecho se lo volverá a pagar. Da y sirve al que no te pueda pagar sin esperar nada a cambio. Okay, um, I don't have the whole thing here, but whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord and he will repay him for his deed. Amén. Entonces, Amen. la Biblia dice So the Bible says que debemos darle al pobre that we should be able to give to the poor y darle a aquellos que no nos pueden devolver el favor. And to give to those who are not We're not, we're not going to be able to return the favor back y to us. La dice que le a Dios, And when the Bible says that we're lending God, lo que está es que una en el mundo what it means is that we're planting a seed in a spiritual world. Y Dios no se queda con nada. And God doesn't keep anything for, um, to himself. Amen, amados. Amen, beloved. So, lo que queremos sacar de todo esto, so we wanna, what we want to take uh, from this lesson is algo que de repente en la iglesia evangélica hemos perdido, hemos olvidado. It's something that perhaps in the evangelical church we have already forgotten. La iglesia católica puso mucho en práctica lo que es la caridad cristiana. Uh, the Catholic Church uh, put into practice a lot of what is charity or Christian charity. Por eso ellos tienen tantas instituciones benéficas alrededor del mundo. And that's why they have so many um, charity institutions around the world. Y aunque perdieron eh, la esencia de la palabra and even though they did lose the essence of the word of God pero han sido una bendición para mucha gente que ellos han ayudado they con, still con la remain a blessing to a lot of people that they have reached out to se da cuenta iglesia so do you Entonces, notice that church Jesús dijo so Jesus said que debemos hacer esto that we should do this sin dejar de hacer aquello without having uh, without not doing I mean not forgetting to do this as well entonces debemos ser caritativos o, o dar so we should do charity or be able to give sin pensar que nos vamos a ganar la salvación con eso 
and not cons not consider or actually begin to think that we're going to earn salvation by doing these things. Pero debemos ser generosos. But we should totally be generous. Como resultado de lo que Dios ha hecho en nuestras As vidas. As a result of the things that God has already done in our lives. ¿Cuánto Dios ha bendecido? How many of you God has blessed? ¿A cuánto Dios les ha dado cosas? How many of you God has given you things? ¿Verdad que sí, iglesia? Right? It's a Solamente fact. el hecho de estar en los Estados Unidos. Just to be able to be here in the United States. Ya hay una gran diferencia. There is a big difference now. Amén, amados. Amen, Entonces tenemos muchas razones. So we have far too many reasons. Para ser agradecidos con Dios. To be grateful to God. Y ser dadores alegres. And to be cheerful givers. Hay una historia que yo oí hace muchos años. There's a story that I heard a long time ago. Dice que un niño pobre vino a la casa, a una casa de ricos, una, una gran casa. Uh, there was a story about a, a boy who went to a, a very wealthy house where rich a people pedir, lived. A pedir algo de comer. And he went there just to beg something to eat. Y el niño de la casa se asomó por la ventana. And, and the boy that lived in the house, he looked out the window. Era un buen niño y él, él sintió lástima por el muchachito pobre. And then he was a very nice boy and he really felt sorry for the poor boy that was begging in his house. Y él fue y buscó un pan y se lo iba a tirar por la ventana. And then he went and he grabbed a piece of bread and he decided to throw it out the window so he could have a piece. Y la, la madre la vio y le dijo, no hagas eso. And then his mom saw, saw, uh, uh, saw him and, he, and she told him, you shouldn't do this. Le dijo, si vas a hacer algo, hazlo bien. And then she told her, she told him, if you're going to do something, do it right. Así que lo envió para que fuera al primer piso. So she sent her son so he will go uh, downstairs. Y le entregara las cosas de comer al niño en sus manos. And that he will go uh, and then just face to face just hand out uh, food to the boy who was standing outside. Y que outside. se lo diera con buena actitud. And that he will give uh, the boy who was begging uh, with, a, with a good attitude. Me imagino que ese niño cuando regresó, regresó feliz. I can only imagine that when that boy returned back to inside the, 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 the house, he was very happy. Me, me imagino que le diría algo así como, Mami, gracias por enseñarme a hacer las cosas bien. And then probably he, he, he could have told his mother something like, Thank you, Mom, for teaching me to do things right. Porque se siente lindo, iglesia. Because it feels very nice, church. Cuando tú le das algo a alguien que necesita. When you give something to somebody that is in, in sí real no, need. Iglesia. Isn't that true? Se siente hermoso. It feels, it just feels so nice. Así que el Señor Jesucristo fue más allá. So the Lord Jesus went even beyond that. Él no solamente quiere que aprendamos a dar cosas. He doesn't just wants us to learn it, to give things to people. Sino que le demos aún a los que quieren ser vivos con nosotros. But to even give to those who want to take advantage of us. Y eso se ve así un poquito... Terrible, ¿no? And that kind of sounds terrible, right? Mateo 5, 40 al 42. Matthew chapter 5, verses 40 to 42. Dice al que quiera ponerte pleito para quitarte la túnica, déjale también la capa, y a cualquiera que te obligue a llevar carga por una milla, ve con el dos, y al que te pida, dale, y al que quiera tomar de ti prestado, no se lo rehuses. And if anyone would sue you, Uh, anyone who would sue you and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. And if any, anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give the one, give to the one who begs from you, and do not refuse the one who would borrow from you. Proverbios 25, 21 y 22 dice. Proverbs 25 verses 21 through 22 says. Dice si el que te aborrece tuviera hambre, dale de comer pan, y si tuviera sed, dale de beber agua. Porque ascuas amontonerás sobre su cabeza y Jehová te lo pagará. If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat, and if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. For you will heap burning coals on his head, and the Lord will reward you. En esta enseñanza, mis amados. In this teaching, beloved. El Señor Jesucristo no nos dice que seamos tontos. The Lord does not tell us to be foolish. Que nos dejemos abusar. 
to let people take advantage of us. Lo que él nos está diciendo es What he's telling us is to que la vida de un cristiano the, the life of a Christian person que la vida de un hijo de Dios the life of a son or a daughter of God tiene que ser diferente has to be different. Tiene que ir más allá de lo que los humanos normalmente hacemos, iglesia. It has to go beyond what humans are capable of doing. Que aún aquellos que quieran ser vivos contigo that even those who want to use you or take advantage of you puedan sentir la presencia de Dios de la forma como usted y yo actuamos that they can actually feel the, the presence of God by the way that we behave que si una persona trata de hacer algo para dañarte that if somebody tries to do something in, in order to harm you or cause you harm que pueda recibir algo bueno de ti that they can actually receive something nice from you ¿Cómo crees tú que se siente how do you la, think la that persona? feels how do you think that person would feel cuando yo, cuando yo era más pequeño, when I was younger or smaller <laughs> que iba a la escuela, and I used to go to, um, to school las enseñanzas de la escuela eran algo impresionante, iglesia. Uh, the, the school lessons were something incredible, church. Ellos nos enseñaban estos principios. They taught us these principles. Yo recuerdo Bible. que uno de mis libros en la escuela tenía una historia o una, un relato ahí. I remember that one of the books that I had in school it had a story de un niño que le tiró piedra a una mata de pera a un árbol de peras about, uh, there was a story there about a boy who was throwing uh, stones to a pear tree y dice que el árbol en lugar, cuando recibió la pedra del árbol le dejó caer una deliciosa pera and it, the story said that as he stoned the tree as the tree was being stoned by the boy the tree let down uh, some pears for the boy y que el niño la disfrutaba muy Feliz. And that the boy he would he would totally enjoy the pear. Y la enseñanza era. And the lesson to the story, the as, moral lesson to the story. Nunca se me olvida. Yo era yo era un muchachito. I, I mean, I have never forgotten this lesson, and I was just a young boy. La moraleja decía: así pagan las almas nobles que por el mal que les hacen devuelven favores. This and the the moral lesson said something like: this is a way that uh, those kind people repay those who mistreat them. Así es. And this is the way it is. Así pagan las almas nobles. Iglesia. This is the way that the noble or oh, kind people repay those who, who mistreat them. Cada vez que alguien te tire piedra. Every time somebody stones you. Déjale caer una manzana. Give them an apple. Déjale caer una pera. Drop a pear. Déjale caer una buena actitud para que se lleve una buena imagen de que le tiró piedra a un hijo o a una hija de Dios. Just have a great attitude so they will just live with the image that they have stoned a, a child of God. Amen. Eso es lo que debe hacer la diferencia. This is what should make a difference. La Biblia está llena de ejemplos. The Bible is just filled with, full with so many de, stories, de examples. De enseñanza de parte de Dios. Great teachings from the Word of God. De cómo podemos hacer la diferencia. En about este how we can make a difference. Romanos 12, 8. Romans chapter 12, verse 8. Dice, it says, el que haya el que haya recibido el don de animar a otros que se dedique a animarlos el que da hágalo con sencillez el que ocupa un puesto de responsabilidad desempeñe su cargo con todo cuidado el que ayuda a los necesitados hágalo con alegría the one who exhorts in his exhortation, the one who contributes in generosity, the one who leads with zeal, the one who does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. Aquí aparece que el dar es un don de Dios. Here it says that given is a, is a gift from God. Está en el capítulo 12 de Romanos, allí hay unos dones especiales. It is in chapter 12 of Romans and there's a list of very special gifts. Que casi no nos gusta a los cristianos that I mean just looking at those gifts we pretty much don't really like them as Christians ¿Cuáles son los dones que nos gustan? which are the gifts that we actually like Hacer milagros. to perform miracles profecías prophecies Levantar los muertos. raising the dead ¿verdad que sí? right 
Pero estos que están aquí en el capítulo 12 de Romanos, mentioned here in Romans chapter 12, que si servir, whether it's to serve other people, que animar a los demás, to uh, encourage others, que la misericordia, mercy, como que no son muy atractivos. They're not very appealing, right? Pero ese es el fruto del But Espíritu that de Dios. Is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Así que Iglesia del Señor. So, vamos a llevarnos a casa hoy. Let's take home with us. Que el deseo de Dios. That God's desire. Es que como sus hijos. Is that as his children. Aprendamos a dar. We may learn to give. Y usted sabe quién nos enseñó el mayor ejemplo de dar. And you know what gave us the greatest example of giving. El Padre Eterno. The Eternal Father. Que dio a su hijo único. Who, who gave his only son. Para que entregara su vida en este sucio mundo. To give his life in this dirty world. Por amor a los humanos. Out of love to humans. Cristo mismo. Jesus himself. Quien se dio a sí mismo. Who gave himself. Por nuestros pecados. For our sins. Solo por amor, Iglesia del Just Señor. Just out of love, church. Y con ese amor tan grande. And because of this great love. Todavía sigue dando su gracia sobre He esta humanidad to pour out his grace to this humanity. Él nos da su hermoso sol cada día He gives us his beautiful sun every morning. nos da el aire que respiramos He gives us this, the air that we breathe. y el deseo de Dios And his desire es que nosotros le amemos is that we come to love y que him. tengamos una buena relación con Él And that we may have a good relationship with pero him. aunque no la tengamos And even though we may not mean, we may not have one. Dios ha hace salir el sol todos los días sobre los buenos y los malos up the sun upon good and evil. porque ese es nuestro Padre Because he is our father. así que iglesia so, se nos terminó el tiempo we ran out of time. pero en cinco minutos voy a darles esto But in five minutes I'm gonna give you this. recuerden esto Remember this. es más bienaventurado It is more blessed. Más feliz. You're even happier. El que da que el que recibe. To give than to receive. Cuando des algo. So when you give something. No esperes nada. Do not expect anything in return. Mire, yo veo esto en los tiempos de Navidad. I, I usually tend to see this in Christmas time. Cuando se dan regalo, ¿verdad? When people are given gifts to. ¿Qué es lo que people? piensa uno? What does one really come to think about? ¿Qué me irán a dar? What am I going to get? Sí o no? Ojalá right? que me den un buen sueño con que le dan un buen presente y todo algo. You, you kind of start daydreaming about the great present that you're going to get. Y resulta que le, le vienen con un paquetito de pañuelos por ahí. And it turns out they just brought you a, a tissue box or a handkerchief box. I don't know what you meant. Entonces, de hoy en adelante. So from now on. Cuando tú vayas a dar un presente. Whenever you give a present to somebody. No pienses, ah, ese miserable no merece la pena darle un regalo. Don't think about how oh, this miserable person doesn't really deserve a present. No es porque la persona se lo merezca. It, it has nothing to do with the person's um, es, es porque, I mean, whether or not they deserve something. Es porque yo estoy representando a Dios. It is because I'm, uh, I'm representing God. Al más miserable. Even the most miserable person. Hay que darle el mejor regalo. You have to give them the best present you can give. Eso hace la diferencia. That makes the difference. Y si no te dan nada. And then if you don't get anything in return. Mejor todavía. Better yet. Porque considérate más bienaventurado. Because porque más bienaventurado es dar que recibir. You should consider yourself, account yourself as a blessed person because it is more blessed to give than to receive. Yo sé que eso es difícil. I know this is hard. Pero podemos poner en práctica estos principios But we can totally put into this, uh, pero hay principles. muchas más cosas que podemos dar There are more things that we can give. no solamente cosas materiales Not just material things. una palabra de aliento a word of encouragement. Una, un abrazo en el momento oportuno a tender embrace in the, in the, in the right time una sonrisa iglesia a smile church usted sabe que hay niños o mejor dicho hay adultos traumatizados alrededor del mundo do you know that there are traumatized grown ups around the world porque sus padres nunca le dedicaron tiempo because their parents never gave them time cuán importante es regalarle tiempo de calidad a los hijos how important is to give some good quality time to your children cuán importante es regalarle tiempo a aquella persona que vive sola how 
uh, important is to give time to the person that lives by himself or by herself tomar tiempo de escucharle to take some time to actually listen to the person ayudarle a alguien a encaminar su vida to help somebody to just get uh, on the back get back on the right path hay muchas cosas que podemos dar iglesia del Señor there are so many things that we can actually give church que no son necesariamente cosas materiales they are not necessarily material things piense por un momento think for a moment piense cuántas cosas usted puede dar think about how many things you could give to somebody sin esperar nada de los demás and not and again not expecting anything in return amén amados amén beloved ahora cuando se trata de darle a Dios so when it comes to giving to God yo quiero que se lleve esto en su corazón I want you to take this in your heart por favor please nunca le des a Dios por interés de que te dé dinero never give to God in the interest I mean I mean with the motive of getting something in return from him nunca le des a Dios para chantajear lo que te haga un milagro never give to God as you were blackmailing him for him to perform a miracle eso es un insulto a Dios this is actually an insult to God Dios es el dueño de los cielos y la tierra. God is the master and the owner of heaven and earth. ¿Usted cree que usted viene con un miserable millón de dólares y dice Dios traigo esta ofrenda y Dios se le van a parar los pelos? Do you millón. think that God will be impressed if you brought, brought him a million dollars and you think he's just going to be so shocked and amazed at your offering? Yo le voy a mostrar cómo es que se le da una ofrenda a Dios. I'm going to show you how an offering is offered to God. Primer libro de Crónicas 29, 6. First of Chronicles, chapter 29, vamos a leer, vamos, vamos a leer ciertos pasajes, Alejandra, we're, solamente. Oh, okay, we're going to just be reading a few passages. Amén. Vamos a leer del 6 en adelante. We're going to be reading uh, from verses 6 and y, onward. Y después leemos del 13 al 16, al 17. And then we're going to be reading from uh, verses 3 through 16. Amén. Amen. Dice, primer libro de Crónicas 29, 6, dice, entonces los, los, 29, 6 says, dice, entonces los jefes de familia y los príncipes de las tribus de Israel, jefes de millares y de centenas y de los administradores de la hacienda del rey, trajeron voluntariamente. Then the leaders of the fathers of the fathers houses made their free will offerings as did also the leaders of the tribes the commanders of thousands and of hundreds and the officers over the king's work. Y dieron para el servicio de la casa de Dios cinco mil talentos, diez mil dragmas de oro, diez mil talentos de plata, dieciocho mil talentos de bronce y cinco mil talentos de hierro. Verse 7 says, They gave for the service of the house of God 5,000 talents and 10,000 derricks of gold, 10,000 talents of silver, 18,000 talents of bronze, and 100 talents of iron. Y todo el que tenía piedras preciosas las dio para el tesoro de la casa de Jehová en mano de Jehiel Jerconita. And That's whoever right. had precious stones gave them to the treasury of the house of the Lord in the care of Jehiel the Gershonite. Nueve dice, y se alegró el pueblo por haber contribuido voluntariamente porque de todo corazón ofrecieron a Jehová voluntariamente. Then the people rejoiced because they had given willingly for with a whole heart they had offered freely to the Lord. David the king also rejoiced greatly. ¿Se dan cuenta, iglesia? Can you tell, church? No dice ahí, y esperaban que Dios los hiciera rico. And they, it does not say there, and they still sat there expecting God to make them wealthy. Para ellos, la bendición. For them, the blessing. Era que la casa de Dios. Was the fact that the house of the Lord. Fuera construida. Was built. Ahora bien. Now. El 12 en el... El 12 en adelante. Now from uh, verse 12 onward. Dice las riquezas y la gloria. Este es David hablando. Escucha lo que dijo this David. Is, this is David speaking to the people. Dice las them. riquezas y la gloria poseen de ti y tú dominas sobre todo. En tu mano está la fuerza y el poder. En tu mano el hacer grande y el dar poder a todos. Both riches and honor come from you. And you rule over all. In your hand are power and might. And in your hand is to make great and to give strength to all. 
Ahora pues, Dios nuestro, nosotros alabamos y lo amos tu glorioso nombre. And now we thank you, our God, and praise your glorious name. 14, este me gusta. Escuche, verse escuche 14, iglesia. listen carefully to verse 14. Dice, porque ¿quién soy yo y quién es mi pueblo para que pudiéramos ofrecer voluntariamente cosas semejantes? Pues todo es tuyo y do, de lo recibido de tu mano te damos. But who am I and what is my people that we should be able thus to offer willingly? For all things come from you and for your, and out of your own we have given you. 16 dice oh Jehová Dios nuestro toda esta abundancia que hemos preparado para edificar casa a tu santo nombre de tu mano es y todo es tuyo for we are strangers before you and sojourners as all our fathers were our days on earth are like a shadow and there is no abiding Diez, oh, and a 16 right amen 17 dice yo sé Dios mío que tú escudriñas los corazones y que, la y que la rectitud te agrada por eso yo con rectitud de mi corazón voluntariamente te he ofrecido todo esto y ahora he visto con alegría que tu pueblo reunido aquí ahora ha dado para ti espontáneamente since I know oh God that you try the heart and delight in uprightness I, in the in integrity of my heart, have willingly offered all the things. So now with joy, I have seen your people who are present here. Make their offerings willingly to you. Qué lindo eso, ¿no? How nice, right? Siempre pienso en eso. I always think about this. Siempre I always wonder digo about yo, this. ¿quién soy yo, Dios? I always say, who am I, God? Que se atreve a traer una ofrenda a ti. That I can even dare myself to bring an offering before you. Él es el dueño de todo. He's the owner of everything. Él no necesita limosna. He does not need our alms. Él no necesita miseria de los humanos. He does not need misery from humans. Por eso yo le digo a, a la iglesia del Señor. And that's why I tell the church of God. Cuando usted dé una ofrenda a Dios. Whenever you give God an offering. Aunque sea un dolarito. Even if it's one dollar. Del más bonito que tenga give the prettiest dollar bill you si have es, si es lo único que tiene. if it is the only thing that you can give Porque Dios no necesita limosna. because God does not need our alms Dios, Dios no necesita tus miserables dólares arrugados que God por ahí. does not need your miserable wrinkled dollar bills Cuando traigas una ofrenda a Dios, whenever you bring an offering to God traigala con todo su corazón. bring it with all your heart Pensando quién soy yo Thinking about who you are. para atreverme a darle una ofrenda al Dios del cielo. Thinking who am I to be Piense por un momento. Si fuera para el presidente de la República. Think about for a moment if it was for the president. Que él te pidiera una ofrenda. That he asked you for an offering. ¿Te atreverías a darle un dólar? Would you dare to give him one dollar? ¿Verdad que no? You wouldn't, right? Usted pediría prestado para darle aunque fuera 20 you would even borrow up to at least give him a 20 Pero como es para Dios, but since it is for God que lo agarre si quiere. he can take it if he wants De la misma manera, iglesia. in the same way church Hagámoslo con los humanos. let's do that with humans Vamos a cambiarle la vida a alguien. let's change somebody's Vamos life a around bendecir a alguien let's este bless año. somebody this year Vamos a dar con todo nuestro let's corazón, give iglesia. with all of our hearts de lo mejor de nuestra vida. out of our best Vamos a ser we're going to be big cheerful givers para la gloria de Dios. for God's uh, honor amen iglesia amen church y nunca And never, nunca esperes nada a cambio. Never expect something in return. Solo la bendición de ser su hijo. Just the blessing to be his child. La bendición de saber que vamos a la patria celestial para vivir con ellos, de, de, con Dios eternamente. Amén, iglesia. Dele un aplauso a ese Dios precioso. Aleluya. Amén. Gloria a Dios. 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 Gloria a Señor, gracias. Thank you, Father. Tú mereces la gloria y la honra. You deserve honor and glory. No hay nada.